Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I would like to give you a tip. This video is, is especially for indie authors, but it could be useful for other people um, if you're planning to become an independent author in the future. You never know. It could be non-fiction, fiction. You never know. So if you have those kinds of thoughts, this could be useful for you. But it's especially for indie authors, as I mentioned. So a few days ago, I was watching a video by Heather Grace Stewart. If you don't know her, she's a lovely Canadian author. She recently published Good Nights. I believe it's her fourth novel. And I had a great time reading it recently. I've been down with a cold, as you might be able to tell my disheveled look. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed reading. I was in bed and I thought, oh, I might as well read this book now because I have the time. And I'm sure it will make me feel better because she manages. She's so um, humorous in her writing. She writes romantic comedy. So I downloaded her book and I really enjoyed it. I really recommend it. She has a funny bird. I won't say what kind of bird. I want you to discover it. She's a funny bird in the, in the novel. And yeah, it's really fun. Fun read. As I was saying, she was um, talking in one of her videos about a software she uses to, to track her book sales. And the software is called Book Report. And I'm so happy she mentioned it in her video because I had trouble. I mean, it wasn't a massive trouble for now, but on the long run, it is quite a pain to keep track of sales. And this software, as soon as she, like, I was watching her video, and I was like, oh, I'll give this a try and see how it is, how well designed it is. And it's amazing. I don't know, I've installed it on my computer, and what it does basically, it, um, it shows you have to connect it with your auto account and it, it shows historically how many books you've sold since you first published so I was able to track how many books I've sold since 2016 I believe when I first published my non-fiction book about uh, my dad's work with a sculpture and I was able to see which books uh, which of my books were my bestsellers um, I mean I only have a few for now but it's just nice it's there's a software very well designed it shows you very well uh, with kdb select with oh, kdb um, it was very hard to keep track of sales you have to like, count the, which sales you how many sales you've done on a day or each day it's, uh, it's just not worth it and with this it's very easy very easy you can see how um, how many ebooks you've sold what percentage how many uh, paperbacks how many large print format books you've sold you can see the regions as well I would love to be able to see the countries exactly but for now I can only see uh, like if how many I've sold on in the UK like amazon.com uh, that amazon.co.uk I meant Amazon.co.uk in the UK, uh, Amazon.com, Amazon Italy, Amazon uh, France, uh, Japan. So it's it's a u very useful tool. Um, you can also see like how many reviews you've got. But like for me, the best is you can see historically how many books you've sold, and not just how many you've sold, uh, all sorts of other things related to like like page reads. Uh, I think. Um, and yeah, how many books you've sold overall, free and paid. Um, yeah, that's my biggest thing that you can track how many you've sold, how many books you've sold for each book um, in particular. And since you've published, it's, I, I love it. <laughs> it's a way to keep rec records of, you know, of your writer, author journey. Even, you know, even if you're not like best-selling author it helps you oh and also apparently has um, uh, certain settings and one of them is um, to make a ching sound when you make a sale so if you install it on the computer when you make a sale you you hear that sound so you instantly know and it's I think it's like a boost 
when you're writing for example and hear that oh i made a sale i think it's really awesome <laughs> it may sound silly i mean obviously it may become annoying if you sell too many a day and you know it may not want you may want to disable that setting but i think it's quite fun it keeps you motivated um so yeah that's what i wanted to share with you and also i mentioned about the large print uh, format books i've recently i was watching um jana pen another independent author i was watching her video and she mentioned about large print format books now i, I didn't really consider that i've never thought about it because my novel is uh the, my debut novel it's like a short novel and i always thought about it in terms of having it as a digital book as an ebook and uh, as a paperback of like five by eight because you know it's only small it made sense for it to be like that cute <laughs> and um, i want it to be as portable as possible if people are traveling by plane for whatever it don't want them to have like massive paper like you know some stuff to carry around which wasn't the case anyway because my as i mentioned my novel is quite short but she, joanna was mentioning in her video that there are people who can't read that like i haven't stopped to consider that just because i was always thinking about and making it portable as portable as possible and as accessible but yeah she was mentioning that there are people logically who can't read uh large um, small fo font size like our for me or well, regular 12 it might be difficult to read for other people so they need font size um, 12 or 12 16 or 18 and I was thinking that makes total sense like why would I not want to give that to people and if um, i mean obviously she mentioned there's not many people who buy that but she was mentioning that she had more sales in large print format than in paperback it was almost equal to the ebooks well not equal but like more than half of her ebook sales and it was double and half than the normal paperback like the ones the sales in her large print format so it was there's still something and i was just for me it was so because i wanted like if even if it's one person who wants to read your novel if someone wants to read my novel and they can't read it because of the font size that's ridiculous why would i not want to make it available for them in the size like accessible i, I would love to just when i hear people they want to read so what did i do i went to waterstones <laughs> in canterbury and i had a look I wanted to have a look uh, to have a look at their uh, large print format books, and I went I went straight to the cashier and asked her, "Well, can you point me where the large print format section is?" And she was like, "Well, we don't have one in stores." And I was like, "Okay, well, you know, she apologized." And I was like, "Well, it's not your fault. It's fine. It's not like it's not for me." But I was like, "Well, in a way, it's bad because you know it may not be for you, but it's for other people who want." Obviously, these kinds of people they wanna read pa pa on paper, and yeah, maybe they buy ebook devices because they can lar make the font larger. But still, people prefer books like pa like tangible stuff, and it just made no sense that they didn't have a well, at least a small section for large format books. And she pointed me to the library, uh, library, and yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, but what if I want like the newest? Dean Koons or Stephen King book in large print format, you're not gonna give it to me? <laughs> it's like you're losing sales and it just makes no sense. So, short, long, short, uh, long story short, I made my own debut novel accessible in large print format. I brought it on Amazon, I had I waited for a few hours to, for it to be accepted. And guess what? It's also not banned. Like my normal paperback is being banned in like few countries. And my large print is not, uh, which astonishes me. It's the exact content almost, I think, except the font size. And yeah, I had to slightly change the cover to make it larger. But like, yeah, I was amazed. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so I've ordered a copy and I'm waiting for that to arrive by the end of the month. And I'll show you that. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted to share. Uh, more on that subject 
in future videos and there is lots of other video I'm gonna, videos I'm gonna come up with so please keep up on keep an eye on the channel and have a have a lovely day take care of yourselves bye